so, um, <clears throat> hello there. Um, so we're looking at this problem, and it says find the value of b so that 20i minus 5j and negative 2i plus bj are orthogonal. Um, orthogonal. <laughs> so, um, here, we want to remember what it means when two vectors are orthogonal. And um, here, we want to go ahead and, um, you know, just as long as we know the theorem. So if we have two vectors, if... So, um, sorry, give me a second. If two vectors, we're going to call them u and v are orthogonal then their dot product their dot product product hold on I'm sorry. Um, is and um, you know u dot v is equal to zero. So that has to that has to be the following if they're dot if they're um if these two vectors are orthogonal. Now, what's going on here is that we have one vector, and I'm going to say let u, let u equal 20i, and it said uh, minus 5j. So we're going to, it really doesn't matter, you know, honestly, and, and I'm just going to state this very quickly, u dot v from the, um, I believe it was commutative property. I can't really remember, but I think it was commutative property where uh, u dot v is equal to v dot u. So it doesn't matter the um, order in which you put them in, as long as you know that, as you know, they're orthogonal if their dot product is zero. So um, we can let u equal 20i minus 5j and then v can be the negative 2i plus bj. So um, v is negative 2i plus bj. Now, <clears throat> now um, we know that the way we're going to write this, let's go ahead and write it in actual, um, you know, in vector form. So we're going to let u equal um, 20 comma negative 5 and v is going to be negative 2 comma b. So v is negative 2 comma b. Now, here, remember that in order to find the vectors of, or the, in order to find the dot product, and in order to state that the dot product has to be 0, we need to say that um, u dot v, u dot v, is equal to the following, and it's going to be, um, um, it's going to be u1 v1 plus u2 v2. So u1 can be this part, and then u2 can be this part. So um, I'm just going to kind of do this, actually. U1, V1, um, and then I'll do U2, V2. So U2 will be here. So I know U2 is negative 5. I'm just going to state it like this. And then um, U1 is going to be 20, so U1 will be 20. It's really 
the the vector u, right, in terms of u1, u2. And then v1 is going to be um, negative 2, and then v2 will be the, um, the b value that we have right here. So v2 will be right here. So v2 is uh, b. Now, we, like I said, u dot v must be equal to zero. So um, we know that u dot v, and I know it's a lot of explanation, but bear with me. u dot v must be equal to zero in order for it to be orthogonal. So we can substitute zero in for this and say that this is equal to, and then we're going to have u1, which is 20. And then it's going to be times v1, which is negative 2. And then plus the quantity, and it's going to be negative 5. So the quantity negative 5, which is the u2 part. And then, um, and then, um, and then times the b value, which was v2. So um, times b. So um, here we're going to have times b right here. Now we're just going to use some algebra to solve for beams. So um, zero equals, um, hold on, zero equals, this is going to be negative 40, and then minus 5b. So now we want to solve for b. So to, to solve for b, we're going to go ahead and add 5b to both sides. And we know that we know that 5b is equal to negative 40. And then finally, um, and then finally, we're gonna go ahead and divide both sides by five, giving us um, giving us the following. So divide both sides by five. And so we end up with b is equal to negative eight. So that would be the value of b in order for um, for the dot product of these two vectors to be orthogonal. So that is how we do this problem. I hope that helps, and uh, if you have more questions, you can let me know. Thank you for watching.